What is going on people? It's Matt from Liquid Loans and in this one I've got a very exciting one for you as I do an overview of the Liquid Loans DAP on the testnet. So with no further ado, let's go. And voila, here we are on the Liquid Loans homepage DAP and we're greeted with a nice clean interface and user experience. And first things first, let's go up to the top right hand corner and we can connect our wallet. So click on the connect your wallet button and we're shown a few options, connect via MetaMask or Wallet Connect. I'm gonna use MetaMask and click on this cheeky little fox. And like magic, my dummy wallet that I set up earlier to show you guys is connected here. Next to that, we have a light mode and a dark mode. For all you lunatics that like light mode, you can have it like this. I prefer the dark mode, so I'm gonna leave it on that. On this side, on the left-hand side, we can see the TCR, the total collateral ratio. And I know it's the test net, but it's saying 200% at the moment, which is nice and healthy. In the middle, we can see the values for the loan token, the USDL token, and the PLS token. And when the main net goes live, of course, these will be updated in real time and you can see their true values. Beneath that, in the middle of the page, we can see six how-to videos. Now, I highly suggest everyone watching this to watch and digest all these simple videos is really gonna show you how to use each tab. The first one is the how it works four minute explainer video. You may have seen this on our YouTube channel. It's basically how the Liquid Loans protocol works in under four minutes. If you want a refresher, watch this. After that, we have the borrow USDL video, which correlates to this tab the borrow USDL tab. Then we have a stability pool video, which correlates to this tab, the stability pool tab. Then we have a staking pool video, correlates to that tab, a redemptions video to the redemptions tab. And last but not least, a liquidations video, and that correlates to the liquidations tab. So definitely come in here, watch these videos, learn how each tab works. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, we're gonna find protocol performance and some interesting stats. And you'll also find this on every single page of the DAP. So TVL, total value locked, total collateral ratio, USDL supply, USDL in the stability pool, stability pool APR, staked loan and staking pool APR. Now these values might look obscene because it's the test net, but of course we can only dream of getting 720,000% in the staking pool. One can only hope. Before we go any further, I want to highlight also the support tab here. When you click on this tab, it takes us off of the DAP and to the Liquid Loans Anonymous ticketing system. We have this here because we want to hear feedback from you guys. We're releasing the Liquid Loans DAP on the testnet for you to use, to find any issues to try and break. And if you find anything, if you think there's an issue, reach out to us via the Liquid Loans Anonymous ticketing system and let us know your feedback. So you can do that by clicking on the support button here and it will take you again off of the page to the anonymous ticketing system where you can create an identifier and contact us anonymously. So that is the start here page in a nutshell. After that, we go on to the borrow USDL tab. This is exciting. This is where the party gets started. This is the main function of the liquid loans protocol. And this borrow tab here allows you to type in how much PLS you want to use as collateral and then mint USDL. You can type it in manually or you can use these quick shortcut buttons that will allow you to use 25% up to 100% of the amount of PLS in your wallet. Don't forget the minimum loan is 2000 USD. So let's say I wanna use 200,000 PLS as collateral and that's gonna allow me at the moment to mint 3,781 USDL. I can click on that confirm button, pay a gas fee and bang. I have locked up some PLS in a vault and I've minted myself some USDL. The most important thing about this is going to be your individual collateral ratio. So we have lots of stats here, your transaction stats shown here and your vault stats, but your ICR, your individual collateral ratio is going to be shown here. We advise everyone using a nice high collateral ratio, at least 150%, but even higher, two, three, four, 500, a thousand percent, even more to be uber safe. How that individual collateral ratio number will change is by adding more PLS to your vault or adjusting the amount of USDL you're borrowing. You can also go onto this tab, which is a repay tab and add some PLS, add some more collateral or pay back some of your USDL to pay back some of your loan or close out your loan completely. 
if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, again, we can see the protocol performance. So this is the borrow USDL tab. You can open a new loan here, or you can repay back part of your loan or all of your loan by depositing USDL. The next tab is the stability pool tab. This is where people can become stability providers. If you are a holder of USDL, you can put it into the stability pool. And again, you can use these quick shortcut buttons for the amount of USDL in your wallet, or you can type in manually how much you want to put in. And here we have the stake button. Once we've put in the amount we wanna put into the stability pool, we can press that confirm button and we will be added to the stability pool. Why do you wanna become a stability provider? Because you earn loan token, which has its own benefits, which I'll get into in a minute. And you're also going to get PLS at a discount because any vaults that are liquidated, that PLS is taken from that liquidated vault and distributed among the stability providers proportional to their size in the pool. So you're basically long on pulse. And all the stats for the stability pool are shown here and your rewards are shown here. So the liquidations gains that you're gaining PLS will be shown here and your loan rewards will be shown here. And anytime you wanna claim that, you come in here, click that claim button, pay a small gas fee and claim your rewards. So that is the stability pool tab. After that, we have the staking pool tab. So if you're a loan holder, you can come in here and remember you can buy loan on the open market or you can get it from being a stability provider. You can manually add how many loan tokens you wanna to stake, or again, you can use these shortcut buttons. You can stake some loan token, and on this tab, the unstake does what it says in the tin. You can unstake some loan tokens. Why would you wanna stake your loan tokens? Because the loan stakers collect all the fees in the system in USDL and PLS. When anyone opens a new vault, they will pay a fee in USDL that goes to the loan stakers. When anyone redeems USDL for PLS, they'll pay a small fee in PLS. Again, that goes to the loan stakers. So loan stakers earn USDL and PLS from all the fees. The loan staking pool stats are shown here and your rewards are shown here. Your PLS from redemptions and your USDL from people opening up new loans. And you can come here, click the claim button, pay a small gas fee and claim your rewards as a loan staker. This is the staking pool tab and this is where you can stake and unstake your loan tokens. After that, we have the redemptions tab. This is where anyone can come into the system with USDL and always be able to redeem one USDL for one US dollar worth of PLS and that helps keep the price pegged, the USDL price pegged to the US dollar. So we have a little description here about redemptions. Redemptions are one of Liquid Loan's most unique and important protocol features. The redemption mechanism gives USDL holders the ability to redeem the underlying PLS collateral at face value at any time. Redemptions pay off the debt of the riskiest vaults in return for their collateral. So if you have some USDL, you don't even have to have a vault, an active vault in the protocol, you can still come in here and always claim one USDL for $1 worth of PLS. After that, we have the liquidations page, and this is gonna show us in descending order, the riskiest vaults. Any vault that slips under 110% collateral ratio can be liquidated. It'll be done by manual function, and I'm sure many will be coming in here you know, every day, every couple of hours, maybe every couple of minutes to find out if there's any vaults, because if somebody liquidates a vault, they get rewarded. And they can do that one by one, or they can come up and maybe there's three vaults here, they can batch liquidate vaults, hit that proceed button, and therefore those vaults will be liquidated, the PLS in those vaults will go to the stability pool, and also the person who manually pressed the liquidate button will also be rewarded. So this is the liquidations tab. After that, we have the longer pays better bonus points tab. Here we can see the wallet connected, my wallet here. And if you took part in the sacrifice phase, you could choose to lock up your points from one month all the way to 24 months. Now, these are examples that we can see 67 million points locked up for the first month, 46 million for the fourth month, 7 million on the seventh month, and up to 24 months, we can see how many points were locked up. Over on the right hand side, we can see total wallets. So points release in a three month summary. How many points are coming out month one? How many points are coming out on month two? And also how many points are coming out on month three? And beneath that, we can see a line graph showing the points release over a 24 month period. After that, we have the analytics dashboard. This is for you geeks that like to look at the numbers. And we can see interesting figures here like stability pool APR, the loan price, to the dollar value, the TCR, the total collateral ratio, and a number of other line graphs, which will show you exactly what's going on within the protocol. 
This is an interesting one, number of volts. Hopefully over time we see this one increasing as we get more and more adoption of liquid loans on Pulse Chain. So under the analytics tab, we'll find the knowledge base tab. We'll click on this. This will take us to the knowledge base hub. And here we can find basically the white paper, but broken down in a more simple and easy to understand manner. So bite-sized paragraphs. If you didn't read the white paper or you found it a bit heavy, this is definitely gonna be more your cup of tea. You can come here, peruse at your own leisure, go through these tabs and completely understand the Liquid Loans protocol in an easy, simple way. Back into the DAP, we also have a validator tab. Clicking on this will take us again away to this page which is information on the liquid loans validator if you didn't know liquid loans is going to be a validator for pulse chain too because of course we support pulse chain we believe in it and we want to help the network we want to help the community you can watch this video done by a i don't know who this guy is but he looks quite articulate quite handsome maybe kind of a james bond type character but you can watch this video and find out how to do that, or it's a step-by-step -step guide, or you can read all the Liquid Loans Pulse Chain Validator information on this page too. And the last tab, which I touched on at the beginning of this, is the support tab. And we want you guys to use this. Click on this, it will take you to the Liquid Loans anonymous ticketing system. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if you see any issues or anything that you think we need to know about, you can come here, create a ticket, an anonymous ticket, and give us feedback. So guys, that's the Liquid Loans DAP summed up in a quick overview. Get in here and use it and let us know what you think. So I hope you enjoyed that overview video of the Liquid Loans DAP on the testnet. Don't forget to use it, try and break it, and give us any feedback via the support tab. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.